Now we'll discuss understanding and interpreting the result of your Nessus vulnerability scan. Now under the results tab, you'll see a list of all of the different scans that have been performed. You can click on any one of these to see the result of that particular scan. Now the vulnerabilities can either be listed out by host or ordered by vulnerability. We'll start with the hosts option. And you can click any host listed here in order to see the vulnerabilities unique to that system. After clicking the system, you'll see a list of all of the vulnerabilities discovered, and they'll be ordered from criticality all the way from critical and high down to low and informational. You can also click any one of these particular vulnerabilities in order to find more information about that vulnerability. Here you'll find a synopsis of what the vulnerability is, a more detailed description, a solution for remediation, additional information under C also, plugin information about the plugin that was used in order to discover the vulnerability, risk information will evaluate the vulnerability based on criticality on a scale of 0 to 10, and then this vulnerability information can be extremely helpful in the exploitation process that we'll talk about later. Notice that it tells us that an exploit is currently available for this vulnerability, and it'll also tell you if it's exploitable with several different exploit frameworks, such as Metasploit, Canvas, and Core Impact. It also provides additional reference information, which generally includes a number of different vulnerability numbering systems. One commonly used one is the CVE. If we click here, we can see more information on the CVE of this particular vulnerability. CVE is the common vulnerability numbering system provided by the United States National Institute of Standards and Technology. One of my personal favorites is the bug track ID. If we select the link for this, you'll discover similar information particular to the vulnerability. But even more important than this is the option to select exploit at the top of the screen which will provide publicly available exploits for the majority of these vulnerabilities discovered. You can then click on the link for any of those exploits, and here we discover a Ruby script that was created for the Metasploit framework in order to exploit this particular vulnerability. Oftentimes with just minor modifications, we can actually use these exploit scripts against a target system. In addition to sorting vulnerabilities by host, we can also sort them out by vulnerability. Here we'll see a list of all of the vulnerabilities discovered throughout the entire scan, and then out to the right side you'll see a number of the amount of instances that were discovered during that scan. So if we select one with multiple instances, we see similar information about the vulnerability. But if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see each of the different affected hosts that were discovered to have that vulnerability in that vulnerability scan. So that is how to evaluate and analyze the results provided by Nessus scanning. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand.